Doing Good is sponsored by All In Credit Union. We love this Doing Good segment here on Fox 10, and today we are so excited to talk about the Boys and Girls Clubs of South Alabama. We have CEO with us, Robert Kennedy, um, here on Fox 10. Thank you for being here. It is so good to see you today. How it, are you? I am doing, thank you. I am doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing well, dodging raindrops. I know, it's been an ugly Tuesday, but hopefully that will move out of here sooner rather than later. Let's talk about Boys and Girls Clubs of South Alabama. For yes. folks who are new to town, they're not familiar with it, you guys do so much good in our community. Yes, so our mission focus is to make sure that we do whatever it takes to help children build great futures. And we are actually a very large organization. We have six traditional sites, five in Mobile County and one in Baldwin County. And we basically create a safe place for kids to come in their after school hours and their summer enrichment hours as well. So what does after school on a Tuesday look like with you guys? Yes, if I go in and spot check one of the clubs on a Tuesday afternoon, the first thing you're gonna see is that every child that walks through the door is gonna get a meal or a snack. And then immediately after that, they're gonna go into a program that we call Power Hour. And that's really making sure, particularly the younger kids, mm -hmm. have the opportunity to do their homework. And if they're not engaged in homework, then they read for an hour. And so it's just that little bit of extra reinforcement that we're giving to what happens in the school day before the kids are able to participate in those activities that are fun. I'm sure the community that they create is so much fun too with your leaders, folks who are working yes. with you guys, but also the other students as well. What kind of impact have you seen throughout the years? Well, we know that the Boys and Girls Club program works for three reasons. First, we give a physical location that is safe. So the kids as well as their parents know that they are going to be in a safe facility. Second, we have a program that is engaging. So we talked a little bit about Power Hour, but we have our athletic programs and our arts and craft programs as well. And then the third thing, which is the most important, is that these programs are administered by trusted adults. So we actually see the kids' performance improve over time, no matter what area they're focused in. Amazing stuff going on with you guys. You also have a lot of fun events coming up to a few big ones. We do, do. There are two that I'll mention today. The first is that we're actually previewing our summer camp, which is Camp Tajmar, and that is on Shelton Beach Road. And we are doing that on April 15th and again on May 20th. So people can come out, bring the children, spend the day, and it's outdoor learning. So we know a lot of times kids spend a lot of time indoors, mm -hmm. but this is the opportunity to get out of doors. And then our marquee event for the year is the, actually the Youth of the Year celebration, and that is going to be on Thursday, May the 25th. And that is where we will celebrate the youth in our individual clubs who have demonstrated leadership and are actually proceeding on to the state competition in Montgomery. Wow, so big things happening with you guys locally, but also statewide as yes. well. We can't thank you enough for doing so much good. If someone's watching, they wanna make a charitable donation to you guys, they wanna volunteer, get involved, how can they do that and learn more information? Well, the best thing for them to do is to contact us at the uh, admin office right there at 1102 Government Street, and we will absolutely find a way for them to participate. All right, CEO Robert Kennedy with us today on Fox 10. Robert, thank you so much for all that you do for our community. And thank you for having us. Of course and we're going to have more on FoxTenTV.com.